Jacob, it's Coach Gurney from Rising Star Baseball Camp. This is video footage of you hitting on July 18th, 2016, and we're going to watch it in slow motion to see if there's any mechanical adjustments we can make to improve performance. I like your stance and setup here. Your hands are by your left ear. Your feet are wider than shoulders width, so you have a nice balanced base. And your bat position is that of 45 degrees to flat. Let's just make sure that we don't start to wrap the bat around our head. It'll just make it longer to get to the contact phase of the swing. My first concern, however, involves your hands. Those are your hands at stance and setup, and as we load, you drop them right there. So if anything, during load phase, we should be raising them this way, not dropping them that way. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, you do a good job of getting your weight back on your back side, but you never really transfer it forward with a strong linear hip move towards the pitcher, because that's what we want to see. But instead, you put that stride foot down, and you actually take a stride that's negative in length, and you don't really punch that back hip and get that weight moving this way, which is what we want. If anything, you're decelerating forward. Next, you do a nice job here. And let's point out the nice things you do here. One, your heel goes up to the sky, or some of your coaches have probably mentioned, you squish the bug right there. Two, you hit off a stiff front leg. Three, you hit off a bent back leg of about 107 degrees, which I like. And lastly, you do a nice job of hitting from a power V bent arm approach with your arms. So this is all really good. Okay? But once again, look at how your weight is going backwards there. You never really make a strong linear move forward. So I like you in the stance and setup. You load, your hands drop. We don't want to do that. You do ultimately here take a negative stride, which is symbolic of the fact that you're not transferring your weight forward enough. I do like the rear hip turn, and I do like your power V approach there. Excellent job. But the whole point of squishing the bug or taking our heel to the sky is to engage that rear hip. But although you're turning it, and I understand you're trying to have a short stride, you're not getting enough forward movement here. And as you see here, you're actually going back. So I like a good portion of your swing. I just think we need to make sure we don't drop our hands in the load and that we actually punch that back hip and go forward with our swing right here. Okay, really push forward. Make sure we're not decelerating. So, Jacob, I look forward to working with you the rest of the week. It's been fun working with you on that one day we had together. Keep up the good work, and let's watch this in slow motion. Okay, next we're going to watch it in full speed. And some things to watch for is watch those hands drop and watch that weight really not make a strong linear move forward. So keep up the good work and look forward to working with you the next four days.